Paradise. Asking permission. Buhari. Book 8. Volume 74. Hadith 246. Narrated Abu Hurairah. The Prophet said, Allah created Adam in his complete shape and form directly, 60 cubits about 30 meters in height. When he created him, he said to him, Go and greet that group of angels sitting there, and listen what they will say and reply to you. For that will be your greeting and the greeting of your offspring. Adam went and said, as salamu alaykum peace be upon you. They replied, as salamu alaykum wa rahmatullah peace and Allah's mercy be on you so they increased with rahmatullah the Prophet added. So whoever will enter paradise, will be of the shape and form of Adam. Since then the creation of Adam's offspring that is stature of human beings is being diminished continuously to the present time. Buhari Book 8. Volume 74. Hadith 276. Narrated Ali. Allah's Apostle sent me, Arizona Zabair bin al Uwam and Abu Marthad al Ghanawi, and all of us were horsemen, and he said, Proceed till you reach Radat Kak, where there is a woman from the pagans carrying a letter sent by Hatib bin Abi Balda to the pagans of Mecca. So we overtook her while she was proceeding on her camel at the same place as Allah's apostle told us. We said to her where is the letter which is with you? She said, I have no letter with me. So we made her camel kneel down and search her mount baggage etc. but could not find anything. My two companions said, we do not see any letter. I said, I know that Allah's apostle did not tell a lie. By Allah, if you the lady do not bring out the letter, I will strip you of your clothes. When she noticed that I was serious, she put her hand into the knot of her waist sheet. For she was tying a sheet round herself, and brought out the letter. So we proceeded to Allah's apostle with the letter. The Prophet said to Habib, What made you owe what you have done, O Hatib? Hatib replied, I have done nothing except that I believe in Allah and his apostle, and I have not changed or altered my religion. But I wanted to do the favor to the people pagans of Mecca through which Allah might protect my family and my property. As there is none among your companions but has someone in Mecca through whom Allah protects his property against harm. The Prophet said, Habib has told you the truth, so do not say to him anything but good. Amar bin al Kitab said, Verily he has betrayed Allah, his apostle, and the believers. Allow me to chop his neck off. The Prophet said, O Amar, what do you know? Perhaps Allah looked upon the badder warriors and said, Do whatever you like, for I have ordained that you will be in paradise. On that Amar wept and said, Allah and his apostle know best. Buhari. Book 8. Volume 74. Hadith 285. Narrated Abu Dar. While I was walking with the Prophet at the horror of Medina in the evening, the mountain of Ahud appeared before us. The Prophet said, O oh Abu Dar, I would not like to have gold equal to Ahud mountain for me, unless nothing of it, not even a single dinar remains of it with me for more than one day or three days, except that single dinar which I will keep for repaying debts. I will spend all of it the whole amount. Among Allah's slaves like this and like this and like this, the Prophet pointed out with his hand to illustrate. It and then said, O oh Abu Dar. I replied, Labek wa asateg, O oh Allah's apostle. He said, those who have much wealth in this world will be the least rewarded in the hereafter except those who do like this and like this that is, spend their money in charity. Then he ordered me, Remain at your place and do not leave it, O Abu Dar, till I come back. He went away till he disappeared from me.
that I heard a voice and feared that something might have happened to Allah's Apostle, and I intended to go to find out, but I remembered the statement of Allah's Apostle that I should not leave my place, so I kept on waiting, and after a while the Prophet came, and I said to him, O oh Allah's Apostle, I heard a voice and I was afraid that something might have happened to you. But then I remembered your statement and stayed there. The Prophet said, that was Gabriel who came to me and informed me that whoever among my followers died without joining others in worship with Allah, would enter paradise. I said, O oh Allah's Apostle, even if he had committed illegal sexual intercourse and theft, he said, even if he had committed illegal sexual intercourse and theft, 